Kyrie, Merry Christmas. I'm just curious, you know, after you guys had the first half struggles, what was the difference between with you guys tonight between the first half and the second half with the way you guys played? Uh, we just settled in, uh, let the game come to us, and we just fought back. Uh, it was just about matching their physicality and doing what it took to get the dub. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Kerry. Uh, Merry Christmas. I'm curious where there, obviously, you, you mentioned more fight back, and Steve kind of said the same thing. I'm curious, A, was there anything tactical that you guys changed in the third quarter? And B, just uh, obviously you played here in the preseason, but was there any added feeling coming back for your first regular season game uh, in Boston? No, I'm just, I'm just grateful that we're all healthy and we're all, we're all here to be able to play the game that we love. Obviously, competing against those guys, um, competing against the coaches that I had, you know, almost a year and a half ago. Like I said, I'm grateful. So um, we're going to continue to see them. We're in the same division. So to get us started here in Boston, nothing added. Um, but yeah, no, it was nothing tactical in this. And in going into the second half, it, it was just really up to us to make high basketball IQ plays, and then be able to uh, stop them on the defensive end and then be able to use our pace to extend the lead. And once we did that, I felt like we were just pretty much managing the game well. Few, too many turnovers in the first half, um, few too many points that we gave up on offensive rebounds. But other than that, you know, we just want to continue building um, on, this, on, this, on this game. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie. Um, obviously, you guys got a, a big win today, but it was against the Celtics team without Kemba, obviously. And then... Uh, you get a big win over the Warriors, but no Clay, no Draymond. Is there a sense that, you know, you kind of have to take these two victories almost with a little bit of a grain of salt because these teams didn't have uh, their star players available? I, to be honest with you, I would have, uh, if they weren't unhealthy, we, I'm pretty, we all wish as competitors they would have played. You know, I've been playing against those guys my whole career. It doesn't change anything. Um, obviously, you know, we wish them well. I wish them well, uh, especially getting back on the court and getting healthy enough be back and uh, making uh, you know great great plays happen for their teams. But we've been going against each other for 10 years now, so it doesn't really – like some of us have been injured in games, some of us haven't. You know, I haven't been in some games that I've played against those guys, and it's just, just the business that we're in. You know, I want those guys to be healthy, though. We, we want the best of the best playing at all times. There are no excuses here. You know, this is the top of the top in the NBA. We all work our tails off to get here, and we want to play against the best players, but we all got to be healthy. So I wish them well, like I said. Bruce Beck, NBC. Kyrie, chemistry is hard to define after two games, but do you feel you guys are, are building something special and that there's still a lot of room to grow? Absolutely. I think you hit the nail right on the head. Uh, it, what's, what's there to be content about? What's there to be happy about? It's two games. You know, let's move on to the next game. Let's get ready for Charlotte. Let's go do this thing again. Um, let's have some fun. Obviously, we want... Uh, this season to go uh, in a very patient current. You know, we, we don't want to rush this. I know what history looks like and when you're a part of it, and I don't want to take any day for granted. So I'm, I'm grateful I get to share, um, you know, this journey with you guys. That's Justin Walters, picks 11. Hey, Kyrie, picking, piggybacking off of that, and happy holidays to you and yours. Is it a scary thought to know that you guys are still scratching the surface and have areas to improve and develop on? And you're still having fun in a game of basketball is coming. I'm not going to say easy to you, but obviously two impressive victories, but you guys aren't content. No, no, there's no reason to be content. We got 70 more games to go. And then, uh, you know, after that, it, it's, it's a free for all after that. So we have to use, utilize this time to continue to see different looks from different teams, see different things that, that will challenge us in the playoffs uh, throughout the regular season. Uh, just, getting a feel for what the Eastern Conference is going to stack up and be like. You know, there's so many great players and so many moves that are happening on the Eastern Western Conference. But, you know, we got to get through the regular season seeding. And we don't want to rush that. You know, I think in, in, in the past, you know, I've, I've had just such a rushing mentality to get through the season, to get into the playoffs. And, you know, right now I'm, I'm just grounded and, and balanced and playing every single day and not taking uh, any day for granted with these guys.